Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will talk about nested structures in C programming language. In the previous tutorial, we have learned about the structures, how we can define a structure in our program, how we can declare the variables of that structure and how we can use it. A nested structure is nothing but a structure containing the member and that member is of another structure type. Now here, if we talk about this program, then uh, we have the stdio.h header file included to our program. And then we have the main function. And in this main function, I have declared a structure called as person. And here we have name and age as the members of this uh, structure person. Now, if we want to add the address detail for this person, then what we can do is we can declare all those properties which we need for the address as the members of this structure person. But when we talk about the address, the address will contain the information. And if we can put that information under one name, because address is related information. And if you can put that under one name, then uh, that will simplify our program further. So what we can do is we can define another structure in our program. So let's do that now. I'm going to say struct address. That's the name that we are giving for this structure address. And for the simplicity, we will have only two members. The first member will be host number, which is of type integer. And then we have another integer type uh, member. And let's call it as pin code. Okay. Now, if we want this person structure to have the information about the address, then what we can do is we can declare a variable of type structure address as a member for this structure person. In that way, the structure person can contain the information about address and also the address, you know, which is the collection of some related information is also accessible under one name. And if we define this address as a separate structure, then if we need it in some other place, then we can use it. For example, in our program, let us say if we have another structure, struct company, and in this structure, if we need the address, then what we can do is we can use this address structure, which is already defined in this uh, company structure. So what it does is it eliminates the need to declare the variables again and again in our program. So if we don't use this address structure here, then we need to declare these uh, members in this person structure and also in this company structure. In that way, we will be repeating the code. But if we can do like this, then uh, you know we don't have to repeat the code. So we can use the code which we have already written again and again in our program. Now in this person structure, let's declare a member of type structure address. So to do that, just like declaring any other member, first we need to provide the type here. This is struct and address. And then we need to give a name for the member or, you know, we need to give a name for the variable and let's call it as ADDR and that's it. Now this person structure contains a member which is of another structure type. So here this person structure is containing another structure variable. So it is a nested structure because it contains another structure inside it. Now what we can do in our program is we can declare a variable of this uh, person structure type and we can use it. So let's do that now. So we have to write struct. And then we need to write the structure name, which is person. And then we can give a name for the variable anil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize that one to the default values here, you know, between these curly braces, if we want, we can specify zero to initialize all the member to uh, their default values, depending on their type, or we can uh, leave it like this, you know, without specifying anything. This will also initialize all the members to default values. Now, how we can access the members of a nested structure here, if we want to access the uh, structure member, let us say name from this anil structure variable, then we can write anil dot name here. This dot is the structure member operator. 
it allows us to access a member of a structure using a structure variable so if you look at the definition of this structured person then this addr is also a member of this structure person and here this anil is the structure variable of this structure person so what we can do we can write the structure variable name which is anil and to access the member we can use the dot operator or the structure member operator and we can specify the member name so in this case it is addr but this structure member addr is a structure variable so when we talk about storing the information in this uh, structure member addr you know we have to store the information of this house number and pin code so now from this addr we can access its members just like the way we were accessing the name and age of this uh, structure person so we can use the dot operator here and we can access the member for example we can say host number is equal to 100 since this structure member addr is a structure variable we can use the dot operator here if this was a structure pointer for example if we have this address as a structure pointer then we need to use the arrow operator here and we will talk about in the next video but here in this case it is a structure variable so what we can do is we can use the dot operator and access the member now if we want to access the pin code by using this anil structure variable then we have to write the structure variable name anil then its member which is addr and then its member which is pin code and i can set some value for example i can say 576212 now in c programming language we can nest as many structures that we want in whatever the way possible for example in this address structure if you want we can declare a member of another structure type we can nest it however the way we want in our program and if we have the structure variable then you just have to use the dot operator for example house number dot something then if it is nested again then you have to use the dot and like that so here now let us print out the values by using a printf statement so i'm going to use the printf function and here first we will display the name so we will use the format specifier as percentage yes then space then we have uh, age percentage d and then we have uh, uh, structure member address and this address contains house number and pin code so percentage d and percentage d for house number and pin code now we can provide the values so we can say anil dot name comma anil dot age comma anil dot addr dot house number comma anil dot addr dot pin code we are just using this dot operator to access the nested structure members now if i save this program and if i run this code then here you guys can see for the name it has taken the default value which is the null value no character in this string and then for age it has taken the default value which is zero and then for this house number and pin code i have uh, given the value so it is displaying 100 and this pin code now here if you want we can provide the values for all the members uh, separately by using the dot operator now let's talk about initializing the structure variable when we have the nested structure uh, by using this uh, list initialization type you know just like the way we use this equal to symbol and the curly braces now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this code now we know that we can initialize a structure variable while uh, declaring it and to do that we use this uh, curly braces it is called as list initialization method and here we can provide the values for all the members for this structure variable anil now I have already explained about how we can initialize the structure variables in different ways. Um, if you have watched that video, then uh, you know we can directly specify the values here in the order they are defined here, or we can uh, use the dot and then 
the member name and then we can use the assignment operator to assign the value or we can directly use the member name and uh, then we can use the colon to assign the value in all these ways we can initialize the structure variable here now let us initialize the structure variable anil so what we do is we will provide the values in the order they are defined here so let us say name is anil comma age is um, 24 you know any value and then we need to provide the value for this structure variable addr address now since this addr is a structure variable to initialize it what we can do is we can use this list initialization method again so we need to use a pair of curly brace opening and closing curly brace here and we can specify the values for these members that is for the members of this structure variable addr so here we can say uh, 24 comma 576112 if you use this method then you have to provide the values in the order they are declared in the structure for example the first value will be for the first member which is name second value will be for age and this value is for the structure variable address and inside this address the first value is for the house number and the second value is for the pin code now if i save this program and if i run this code we get anil 24245761112 that's because i have initialized the uh, house number and age same so let's make it 84 or something run the program you know we get the uh, result properly now here if you want to initialize the structure variable anil by using that colon method then how we can do it now we can initialize the structure variable in any order so we don't have to provide the values in the uh, order they are defined in this uh, structure because we are referring the members by using their name so let us say i'm gonna assign the age value first age i'm gonna say 45 and then i want to assign the value for this addr so i need to type in the member name which is addr and then i use the colon and then since this addr is a structure variable we will use the curly braces again list initialization uh, method again and inside this you know again we can specify the values in whatever the way we want you know we can uh, uh, provide the values in the order they are defined here for example for the house number i can say 24 and uh, you know whatever the value for the pin code or i can use the dot house num equal to some value comma dot pin code equal to some value i can use that method also or you know if i want to use the colon then also i can do it for example i can say pin code colon let us say 576 112 and then i can say house number colon 78 and then i can uh, come out of this uh, list initialization method for this uh, you know nested structure variable address and then i can use the comma operator to separate it and i can say name and i can say anil okay now if i save this program and if i run this code you know you guys can see we get anil 45785761112 now you can experiment with this one i have explained different methods of initializing the structure variable while defining it in uh, in a separate video if you want you can watch that video so um, in this video you know we have talked about creating a nested structure variable and we and we have talked about accessing that by using the dot operator in the next video we will talk about having a structure pointer as a member of a structure and then we will talk about how we can access that so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like it hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video